Jennifer Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. There's a lot going on in the world and uh, it's nice to be talking to you from a place that's uh, just another very beautiful part of the east coast shoreline of Australia. Uh, this is Shelley Beach near Manly, highly recommended to you. Don't bother going to Bondi, definitely do Manly. It's the new cool place. Bondi's for the tourists, sorry eastern suburbs. Um, Financial markets, we've seen extreme volatility in the Australian market today. We've had sort of three, four or five hours of 50 point ranges um, and ending up going sideways really. And that's because there's very large funds that need liquidity to get out. They see problems ahead, but they know if they wait for the market to turn south, they won't get the liquidity they need. So they're buying, they're selling into any bursts in buying and then knocking it down. And then most of the Australian market is all excited about the opening up, that commodity prices could be strong, that China will have to buy goods from Australia still. Well, we know that's true. It's just that we'll try not to buy more than it needs. Um, and so people are sort of euphorically wanting to buy on that basis, even though the US market looked a little bit shaky on Friday. So we're seeing this huge 50 point range in the Australian market, it might be sort of compressing a little now, but that really was extreme volatility from the open on the Monday morning here in Australia. Uh, whereas US futures, they are also turning up a little bit, but not in a compelling way as yet. And the NASDAQ did have a reasonably sharp fall of around 0.8 of 1% on Friday. So it's not all clear sailing for equities at the moment. And the economic data in the US remains, it doesn't remain mixed, it remains clearly worrisome. Uh, so you know, we have to understand that there's an awful lot of stimulus in the US market, in US economy, that the numbers we're seeing aren't even the really sort of sustainable economic level uh, of the United States. And we have to be a little bit concerned about the outlook going forward. We're seeing outbreaks of Delta again in China uh, starting to spread there in a way they're having trouble controlling. We're having, we're seeing, even seeing UK talking again, at least having the discussion again, about having lockdowns. Uh, I don't think they'll have lockdowns, but it just goes to show uh, that vaccinations do not equal strong economic growth. And even when the UK came out of uh, its lockdowns, the economic surge was quite moderate. As we go into this week, I think we could see equity markets around the world have just a moment here on Monday, but begin to weaken during the week. I see this as a vulnerable week for equities, Last week was a very strong week for equities, obviously, huge rallies. I just see that petering out at the moment and we have to consider that there is downside risk beginning to evolve in the immediate price action. Might be calling it a little bit too early, but I just think we need to be aware of that fact. Gold remains the standout hedge against all of the uncertainties and it's also in demand for industrial production. So gold's kind of a good buy in a good global economy and you know, jewelry, industrial production requirements and as a hedge against inflation and any sporadic outburst of the Delta variant, which will continue to cause damage and wreak havoc on the supply chains of not only national economies, but spreading into the global economy. So difficult times still ahead. Uh, on the currency front, the US dollar has been under pressure. That seems to be the way of it. A key figure to watch would be 116.20 in the euro. The euro can hold above that level and you're a momentum trader, you're probably a long euro already, uh, but I would just keep an eye on that support level as a turnaround point. So what we're seeing is not a lot of startling economic data. I actually think economic GDP for the US could be very disappointing. The market's expecting about 2.8% for Q3. I think it could be closer to 0.8%. Uh, so I think we're going to see a data, dataization uh, releases coming out that have really a lot of impact on the current bullish market sentiment that is out there. I think the market sentiment is overdone both in Australia and the United States and is vulnerable to a downside correction. Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. Thank you very much.